Welcome to Hortonworks support videos. Myself Samil Kalvi. Today I'm going to show how to configure Ambari view and uh, enable the table authorization so that we can view Ranger policies directly from your our Hive view. So let's quickly create a new view instance from Manage Ambari tab. Click on Views and click on Hive. Click on Create Instance. So let's name our instance as Hive Demo and I'm just keeping the display name as same as the instance name and description whatever you can provide it. I'm just going to keep it Hive Demo and now I'm going to save it. So as you can see the view has been created. Now I'm going to open Hive Demo view. So as you see that uh, view has been created successfully and I am able to see the query tab, all the tables inside default database and uh, if I click on table and click on table authorization, I will get this error with error code configuration error. Okay. So just to make this ranger policies work with Ambari high view, I need to add uh, two more properties from manage Ambari tab. So let's see what it is. Click on Manage Ambari again. Go to Views, go to Hive, and go to Hive Demo. Click on Edit. So first thing is Ranger Service Name. Ranger Service Name, you can get it from Ranger Admin UI. For Hive, this is my Ranger service name. You can copy it and uh, paste it over here. So Ranger admin password, uh, my default password is admin. You can enter your admin password for Ranger. Authorization, if your cluster is Kerberos, you can provide the authorization equal to Kerberos and you need to provide the proxy use of Ambari. And if your cluster is non-Kerberos, you can give auth equal to simple. So my cluster is Kerberos. So I have given auth equal to Kerberos and proxy user I have given Ambari is our proxy user. And now I'm going to save it. So if you scroll down, one more thing which you can have a look is that I can connect it to a same hive which is installed in the same cluster or to a remote cluster or to any custom hive. Okay. So in that way you need to populate all these values you can configure it manually and then that way it would work. So this would be coming handy whenever you are uh, customizing your standalone Ambari. I'm just going to save it. Now let's see how it is. So I'm opening my view now. It's open. Click on tables. Click on table authorization. So if you see now we can able to see that all the policies name and the conditions, I mean, the users, groups, or the type of access which has been granted to these users are mentioned. So similarly, you can see all these details for all the tables in this table, okay? So this way, it comes in handy whenever you want to quickly check your table policies directly from Ambari High View rather than going to Ranger and checking the policies individually. Hope you like this video. Thank you.